What is up everybody, Rod J back in the house. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video here on the beer channel. Appreciate you spending some time here with me. Today I'm gonna to share another beer with you and this is gonna be a look at Shinerbach. It is the Bach beer from Spetzel Brewery out of Shiner, Texas. So it's been a while since I've actually had one of these. Had never done a review here on the channel. And just recently, it is one of the beers we also are doing for the Beer in Front Awards. So I needed to pick up a bottle, kind of go back, check that out. Comes in at 4.4% ABV. This was first made in Shiner, Texas back in 1913. So long history behind this beer. Let's crack it open and get it into the glass. Check it out and uh, talk about it a little here. So it is done in a, it says a traditional box style, which means it is a lager. Nice amber color on the beer itself, as you can actually see here. Yeah, really digging the color there. Some nice clarity, you can definitely see through to the other side. See all through to the other side. Nice bubble action in place as well. Can really see it going up to the head. The head came out as a finger. Right now is a half a finger, so it does dissipate rather quickly going down. Nose wise, yeah, it's got a nice smell on the nose. You pick up the sweetness of the malts. You pick up a little bit of that kind of a toffee-ish, uh, caramel-ish type underneath note there with the beer itself. Very common for the box style. You're getting some earthiness in there as well. But really, pretty much what you'd expect to, uh, to get out of the beer. A little bit more of a bready type note being a lager. You got that yeast actually coming out. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Taste wise. Nice carbonation. You really feel it nicely on the tongue. You get a nice mouthful of flavor. Goes down the back end rather smooth, very refreshing, very crisp, very easy drinking. Again, only 4.4% ABV, so you can have a few of these and be okay. Can feel it a little bit there in the throat area, a little bit of a grassy note in there as well. That sweetness really does come through. You do feel in the tones of the cheeks of the um, caramel toffee type feel to the beer, to that base there that's coming out from the sweetness. You really hold it there for a good amount of time. You really feel that dance on the tongue from it for sure. The rest of the flavor is not bad. It's decent. Hangs around for a little bit. Definitely a lighter uh, body to the beer itself. Very easy to drink any time of the year with this one. But I would imagine like during some of those months in the summer when it's really a lot warmer, you can really put this down rather easily. And uh, just be a nice easy drinker to have around, so to speak. Doesn't really do anything else to really jump out. Um, if you've had box, I think you'll just find that this fits right into that traditional style. But it's nothing that's going to be kind of special around it, considering some of the newer ones we have, like from some of the craft breweries out there. It's kind of just that old, time tested, proven recipe that they're doing. Like I said, since 1913, and it still works today. That sweetness almost has like a little bit of a, a brown sugar type feel to it as well, but not bad. Shiner Bach, Special Brewery, Shiner, Texas. If you've never had it, definitely say check it out. Thing about these guys is that um, I've had some of their other specialized craft beers before at times. They have some really unique things that they're actually doing out of that brewery. So, you know, check out some of the stuff you might find there on the crafted side of things. I mean, this is craft as well. As you can see, you do have the logo on there. But I'm talking about more of the more up to date type things they're putting out. They have some really unique picks that are uh, pretty decent. To also drink. Thanks for swinging by. Check out this video. Look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good beers out there. Remember, there's always time. To get your beer on. Drink beer. Live happily. Cheers, everybody.